Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. I'm Andras. My name is Taylor. Hello. And today we decided to do a little bit more of an explanation on based on the terms that we have on our website. Um, so the terms that you can find in the table of specifications of some products. And today we're going to discuss uh, calibration mode. And with calibration mode, uh, I went over uh, our emails and checked what kind of questions we received regarding this topic. And we're, we're, you can see that we have a bunch of thermal imaging devices here. And we're just going to start with the question, what calibration mode is? Well, I would go even one step further and say what calibration is by itself. Not what mode of calibration is, but what it is. Uh, and I would say basically for all those which are not familiar with thermal devices, that uh, calibration is a process of calibrating the sensor so that your image quality is always perfect. So when you're using the thermal device, with time you see that the image quality fades. So the sensor needs to be recalibrated every couple of minutes or something like that or even maybe even every couple of seconds let's say every 30 seconds every one minute it depends from manufacturer it depends from the device and so on so with the calibration the device makes sure that you always get best possible image now the modes of calibration are those what we are explaining now here there are basically three different modes one is that this calibration process is automatic so that means that there is an algorithm, software algorithm inside, which either has a timer on every one minute, on every 30 seconds, it runs the recalibration of the sensor, or there is a software which sees the, the image quality, how it fades, and at one stage when the image quality is not uh, good enough anymore, it runs the calibration. And you notice this immediately because your image freezes for a second or two. Because at the time when the sensor is recalibrated, you're not getting any image. So this is the first thing, but you notice, you notice that the image freezes. The second thing with most of these devices is that if you wish that they run during the process of uh, calibration, the shutter closes and then when the calibration is over, it opens again and there is a distinct sound. Uh, associated with this uh, shutter close so and open. Most, so most devices do use this shutter, but I've I've uh, heard that some uh, calibrations are so-called shutterless. Shutterless, yeah. Well, let's say this Fortuna uh, uses shutterless calibration, so there is no sound and nothing. You just see that the image freezes for, for a second or even less and then it works normally uh, like it did before. With Pulsar devices, uh, most of the calibrations are, most of the modes of calibrations are with a, with a shutter, so you hear the sound. And first, when you power up the device, you hear the sound of the first calibration when the shutter closes, and then every minute or two minutes this uh, process is uh, repeated. You see that the image freezes and you hear the shutter uh, being closed and then opened again. So the manufacturer with these devices offers more than one calibration mode mm -hmm. and that's probably because uh, every calibration mode is useful in a particular situation. So where would you recommend manual, automatic, semi-automatic, in which situations would well, you recommend? Well, this is the difference. Yeah, let's say with, with devices which have shutterless uh, um, calibration, like this Fortuna, you can only you uh, only choose either manual, so you need to push the button when you need to do the calibration because the image quality fades, or automatic where it has an algorithm which sees how the quality of the image is fading and one at one level it uh, runs the calibration. With Pulsar devices, which have a shutter for the for the calibration, you have like you mentioned the automatic, the semi-automatic, and the manual. Well, the automatic is the most useful one I would say, the most easiest uh, of them all. That means that the device is set that every minute or two minutes it does the calibration by itself. You don't have to do anything, the device yeah. just does everything by itself. Yeah, so you the simplest, right? the simplest. When you're looking, you finally you see that the, that the image freezes for a second and you hear the sound of clock clock that the, the shutter got closed and opened again. Then you have the semi-automatic, that means that again it works with a shutter 
but it works in a way that when you are observing the uh, anything what you're looking with the thermal um, when you see that the image faded to the level which is not acceptable for you mm -hmm. this level can be much lower than let's say with all these algorithms but when you see that the image quality is just not as good as you would wish then you push the button and the shutter closes and the, the calibration process is started and then in one second you get a new image with a much better but uh, before you do that you have to set in the settings right yeah. the semi-automatic because all of these automatic. devices come by default setting of automatic calibration uh, so you have to set uh, semi-automatic which means it gets calibrated when you power it on then when you're using it no calibration happens if you are not pushing the button and then you have the third version which is manual even though this semi-automatic and manual it's misleading terms because with the with the semi-automatic and manual in both cases you push the button and start they're the both calibrations manual. they're both manual yeah but the difference is that because the shutter release uh, produces sound they added the manual option which doesn't use the shutter but it relies on, on you that you are that you close the front lead uh, the front cap and then push the calibration button and the uh, shutter doesn't close but uh, it recalibrates the sensor because the device knows that you close the uh, the cap so and you can do that much silently probably yeah? yeah this is the reason for hunting for yeah. hunting it's sometimes when you have the game really close and you don't wish that any sound would be heard you just silently close the cap you do the manual calibration after two seconds you open the cap and you have a really good image quality and you don't and frighten the game yeah. yeah and you are able to observe without any problems for the next uh, for the next couple of minutes and then again when the image quality fades you close the lid the cap do the calibration again uh, this goes with all Pulsar devices, even with that, even these uh, devices like this uh, Quantum Light uh, 23, which has a different cap for the lens. It has a, like a uh, well, it has a different system. Even here, you can use the manual mode to do the calibration without the, the shutter uh, getting closed, without any sound. But you have to close the and rotate. The, yeah, yeah, well, here you rotate and the lens is covered by uh, it's covered and not uh, uh, and ready for the calibration uh, so basically the semi-automatic and, and manual modes are very very similar in poser devices but uh, with the manual you have to make sure that you close the front lens that no light uh, and nothing else comes in when you're doing the calibration with semi-automatic you can have the cap opened and you just do the calibration manually again, but the, this time the shutter closes, it produces noise, and the calibration is done differently. So it all depends on, on the way the you need. Of hunt, yeah. and where the game is. Well, I have to be honest, I always use automatic because it's the sound Easy, is probably. so, I would say... Uh, it doesn't produce much noise. No, really. the noise is almost undetectable, so I don't see any any need for, for the manual uh, calibration. I also think that the software knows quite well when the image quality is not really sufficient anymore and knows when to start the calibration uh, calibration process. Uh, and the image really freezes for a second. Really second yeah. So it's like not that. really that disturbing. No, it's not. It is true that more expensive devices have this uh, shutterless calibration without any sound and so on also in the automatic mode. Uh, without the need of closing down the lens so they are automatically calibrated without producing any sound and this is normally a, a, a superior uh, feature but it comes with a, with, a price. with a really high price so this is this is the difference and then especially when you calculate if this uh, feature justifies such an increase of price this that depends on the pro on the customer right yeah, from Precise. customer to customer yeah. I think that we've covered it, so I think we did. Thank you very much. Uh, if we did forget something, you can uh, ask us a question by sending us an email or leaving a comment below. And if you like the video, hit like, of course, or subscribe, or both. And thank you very much for watching, and see you in, in the next Optics Trade Debates. Bye.